pizza now with the roast pumpkin and this time I'm going to add caramelised onion, some silver beet from the garden, some vegan feta, rosemary, pine nuts, all the best things and I've made a dough here which has been in the warmth of the sun this morning so it's nice and doubled in size now. Perfect. So you can see now those beautiful bubbles there. It's doubled and look at all that air. <laughs> wow. It's just amazing stuff, isn't it? That's going to be such a lovely, fluffy pizza dough. Okay, so let's roll it out. A little bit of flour onto the bench. Now I've just made a tiny amount here to make just a little pizza for myself, really. Um, but obviously you can make a lot more dough if you were making it for a group of people. Okay, I'm going to give it a quick knead. Okay, so I've split my dough into two. I'm going to make two smaller pizzas. And just start by rolling it out. Now, if you've got your own special trick to this, you do it your way. Basically, just knead a nice organic, in my opinion, looking round, doesn't it be perfect. Okay, now I'm just using a square tray, but if you've got a round one, that's great. Just work with what you've got. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this with a little bit of sauce, not too much, so it's not too soggy, but enough so it's got quite a bit of that acidic punch that tomato sauce brings. Then a little bit of this uh, steamed silver beet from the garden. You could use spinach or chard or kale. The key is just to give it a good squeeze so that we don't get too much water on there. Okay, I'm just gonna spread that around. There's actually a lot of flavor that comes from silver beet and chard because it's naturally quite salty. There's a bit of stalk in there that'll add a nice bit of texture. Now my biggest bad habit is to overcrowd a pizza because I just love veggies. So I love all the toppings and I tend to put far too much on. So I'll try and hold back. <laughs> okay, I've got some caramelized onion. A little bit of that. Not too much because pumpkin's sweet as well, but this is gonna complement the sweetness of the pumpkin. And also add a nice, just a different element. It's just all about creating contrast, isn't it? And then we have the pumpkin itself. Now this has just been roasted with a little bit of salt, olive oil, and a touch of smoked paprika, which is optional. Look at the lovely colors forming already. It's gonna be beautiful when it's done. Okay, some pine nuts for a little bit of crunchy, nutty deliciousness. And some beautiful vegan feta. I tell you what, the vegan fetas these days are incredible. So, nice sprinkle of that on. But you know, traditionally pizzas didn't actually have cheese on them at all. And they first invented a very well-known Italian pizza chef tells me. But I have to admit, no matter how much olive oil or chili oil I put on, I do like a little bit of cheese on a pizza. And now that it's 2021, we can be vegan and have cheese on a pizza. So why not treat yourself? And this feta really does a great job. And just one more thing, a little bit of rosemary, just for a little bit of that herby, earthy punch that it brings. Now, rosemary is quite strong, so let's not go overboard. But I do want to use a couple of these little rosemary flowers, because they're so beautiful. A few twigs, sprigs, I should say. But I am going to finally chop them, because otherwise it can be a bit too soapy if you get a big bit of rosemary, in some cases. Okay. Now, that looks so beautiful already, and it's not even baked yet. All right, I'm gonna make another one of those. Pop it in an oven, nice and hot oven. All breads and pizzas need a really hot oven. So maybe two, 220, and it should only take 10 or 15 minutes. Look at this beauty. Look at the colors, it's so beautiful already. I'm just gonna finish that off with a little bit of this fresh parsley from the garden. 
Oh, it looks so delicious. I love the way that feta melts into the sauce just a little bit. Beautiful. And I've got a few little sage flowers here, which is really just for a bit of purple colour, because I just love purple, green and orange together. I can't resist making that triangle of colours come together. Oh, it's so sensational. Can't wait to dive in. Oh man, this is so delicious. It's actually so beautiful to look at as well. Let's give it a taste. Oh my god. What do you reckon, Ted? Mmm, that is so delicious. I love the crunchy pine nuts. I love the caramelized onion, the smooth feta that's melted in. It's all going on. Great way to use all that pumpkin. Yum. So good.